All right, guys, so this is my 28-foot Don ZZX. It's powered by twin 350 Mercruiser mag and PIs, yada, yada. I took the engine cover off. It's over here. Pretty much, you just unscrew this. Engine cover pops off, right? All right, what's happening is my boat, um, when I'm driving, it's giving me two beeps, right? It's going beep, beep, and then it stops, and like a minute or two goes by, and it does it again. Now, I had these engines pretty much serviced, rebuilt. Nothing's wrong with them. They're getting the water. They're getting the gas. All the fluids are filled up. Everything is, is done properly on these engines, right? Through my uh, certified uh, marine mechanic uh, friend that I know, he, he knows what he's doing. What's happening is I did some research, and when I'm driving, uh, the engine is also stalling, too, if I bring the throttle down too much. So right now, my throttle is on the right engine is is has to be here if i bring it back down to here it'll stall so it's got to be here to start it and whatever so pretty much did some research and i come to the conclusion that it is my iac valve so it's uh that stands for idle air control valve and that's this piece right here okay and basically it comes with a gasket this is going to plug in right here it's that one right there this one's black, the other one's silver. But basically, it's got two hex uh, bolts right there and a little clip that you uh, are going to unclip. I'm going to replace this one with the new one, and it should work. So we'll see. Um, pretty much what the IAC valve is doing is it's, it, it, I guess, monitors the airflow or whatever, and it's telling the computer it's not getting enough or it's stalling the engine or whatever the case is. So I'm going to re replace this one. See what happens is if I bring this down, It'll stall. See? It stalls. That's the noise I'm talking about. I gotta bring it up there. And then it'll be at that. So, update. I got the wire off. It's a pain in the ass. Um, this whole piece came off. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come off or broke off, but basically, this and this, they're supposed to be separated. You can see the line there. So, it's supposed to be separated because, the, like I said, the new one, this one is going to go on. You can see how much, how thin it is. So I don't know why this thing is moving. I'm, I'm assuming it's because it's uh, stuck together with the paint that had dried on it. So I'm going to take a razor blade and kind of follow around the seam and see if I can break it free. So, All right, I got the part off. Two hoses are off. There's some right here. Pull them off. Now I have, uh, I'm going to mess with this, see if I can separate these two. It was being held on by the gasket that uh, is in there see it right here uh it was stuck on i took a screwdriver and i pretty much just held it and just tapped it right on here a few times and it just it just fell off so i got them separated this is the bad part this is what it looks like on the inside if anyone is curious not sure if there's anything in here i mean i'm going to save this piece obviously it's original piece from uh, mercury there's the connectors, uh, but yeah. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna scrape off this old gasket. It's hard as a rock. You can hear it. I'm gonna get this one off, clean it up, put the new one back on, and uh, we'll see if it solves the problem. This is the gasket. I'm able to get a uh, little knife in there, and I'm able to just slide it across, and it's just coming up, you know? Whole thing is just peeling off nice. I'll get the knife in there and I'll do the rest. But I'm able to get under it like this and 
you can see it, I'm probably going to cut myself, but see how it just gets under there like that? I'm able just to pry up. And then I'm able just to follow it around. So, I'm just doing this now because I'm trying to hold the camera, but, you know, I would obviously do a better job if I had two hands, but I'm just trying to show you guys what it looks like and how it should be clean. All right, guys, I got the new one installed. I had to replace these clamps because they were breaking on me. You know, I couldn't tighten them down or whatever. I got my this back on. Screws are tight. You don't want to go too hard. You don't want to strip the metal here. So just so it's nice and snug. I got the new gasket on. And we're going to see if this works and if the noise goes away. All right, well, cover's back on. I got the uh, new piece. I don't know if you can see it. New piece is back on right there. They recommend that you paint it. Uh, Mercury supposedly has this new thing out where they want you to paint the, um, the new piece you put on. It's supposed to give it a better seal. Uh, I'll paint that after I start it. I'm going to see if this works. So, <clears throat> so my throttle's back, right? Remember in the beginning, I had to keep it up here. Otherwise, it wouldn't start. So, gauges are good. Give it a second to start up. how you change out an iac valve and solve the beep beep issue uh it seems to be working my boat's not stalling um it's sun's going down so i'll take it for a spin i guess tomorrow see if it runs all right but basically um i'll make another video if there's any more issues but i think i have solved the issue uh with uh changing the iac valve on a uh, mercury uh, 350 mag mpi so thanks a lot if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you in the next video.